Sense Rugby is a program my wife and I started about three years ago. Um, she was working in occupational therapy with kids with autism, sensory processing disorder, ADHD, behavioural issues. And she was finding in, in a clinical setting she couldn't get the physical input that these kids needed to function normally outside of what we were doing in the clinic. So we decided we could sort of mesh it all together and, and create Sense Rugby. If kids have different delays or different disabilities, they tend to miss out on a lot of opportunities to get physical input, so that's a really big part of it for us. The other part is that from a sensory processing point of view, getting deep pressure and getting heavy work and movement and rolling and crawling and pushing and pulling is so important for the nervous system. For some kids, it becomes their thing that they need to get to regulate their bodies and to stop that from happening on, on the playground. So we like to do a lot of wrestling, a lot of tackling, you know, obviously running and jumping through hoops and ladders and all sorts of stuff. So basically an adapted rugby training session. Some kids will stay here uh, and it is their happy space and, and they love it here and, and we're happy to have them. But our big goal is to try and get them back into the rugby community. For other kids, we've we've seen gains on you know in the academic form. We've seen gains in social form. I think just seeing kids make friends is is a really big part of what we do as well. If they leave with anything at all, I'd, I love them leaving with confidence, and and they just have so much fun, biggest biggest smiles, and hopefully that we can integrate them with that confidence into into a rugby club. I played about 15 minutes of last season, which was pretty devastating for me. I'd sort of get back for a tournament and um, that week I'd, I'd find out that I'd had some sort of injury, whether it be uh, torn hammy or ankle syndesmosis or torn cartilage in the knee or tendinopathy of the Achilles. It was just a rough year for me and I'm just so pumped to be back playing and, and out there with the boys. I think he was named in about seven sides before he actually got to go out there and play it. So it was a challenging year for us, but I think it really, it just developed that mental toughness that they so need in, in sevens particularly. Your champions in Sydney 2018, Australia. It was great that he got back for the Sydney sevens and they got to win that. I think sometimes what gets missed in sevens is there's a lot of disappointment. You know, there's only one team that wins at the end of the day. It's not like you get to try that again every week like in 15s rugby. So it was so awesome for them to get the first win and I think it was six years. Whenever you come back and, and start playing footy, uh, it's always really special just to get named in any sort of side we play in, in, in on the World Series or uh, even your local Central Coast sevens, you know. But to be named in a, in a Com game squad, um, since you know, since Glasgow, I've been sort of eyeing off that gold medal, um, and it was so good to hear that we we're going to be able to give that a crack on the Gold Coast. Friendies come in and created a really good culture for us. The boys get along really well and just enjoy each other's company. And when you enjoy each other's company, it's easy to play for one another. Uh, and we're just looking to snowball off the back of Sydney and Hamilton, and hopefully get some good results.